She didn't even want to come. So true. And the Lord met her there. And that just reminds me that even when the situation just seems so lost, so mm -hmm. desperate, he shows up Amen. and completely heals this woman. Stand by program. Cameras rolling. Faded audio. I swim the ball of miracles. We want to welcome you to Behind the Signs, where we take a closer look at the amazing and wonderful things that Jesus is doing across the nations of the globe. Today, I have a very special guest, my wife, Janet Canales. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you so much for having me. It's such an honor. Amen. Listen, obviously, I know you very well, but can you let us know what you do here at Shake the Nations Ministries and what is it that you do when we do gospel campaigns? Yeah, so I manage and care for the U.S. office. Um, I also support with HR-related matters. Um, for the gospel campaigns, I get to um, help with the coordination of the logistics, so hotels, meals, transportation, uh, to and from the gospel campaign field. I work very closely with our ministry administrator, Eleanor, okay. um, to help with the prayer team and, and coordinate the prayer teams. That is amazing because as, as I hear you speak, uh, it reminds me of John chapter 11 where Mary is at the feet of Jesus, but Martha is in the back taking care of the administrative work. So in everything that we do when it comes to gospel campaigns, we need a Mary, but we also need a Martha, and that is so important. So all this logistical work is very important to have a successful gospel crusade. We're about to watch a testimony of what the Lord did in the nation of Peru, how he moved in a powerful way. Let's take a look at this video. Evangelist Nathan, this woman who was not able to walk without this cane for the last three years, tonight she felt the fire of God come over her body, and all the pain is completely gone in Jesus' wow. name. Wow. What happened? I'm going to pause it there for a second. We're going to continue watching the testimony. But as people are seeing this lady, the testimony is powerful. The Lord yeah. moved in a special way. But talk to us how you bring about a person to share this testimony. What is the background that, what is happening in the background with the prayer team to see a miracle happen and to actually bring a testimony like this? Well, what you don't see is the preparation uh, for, that the prayer team does to prepare for the gospel campaign, okay. to prepare for praying for people. Um, so we have a time of corporate prayer and fasting, okay. as well as personal time for prayer and fasting before the gospel campaign. And so um, that is number one for the prayer team. Number one is to prepare before the gospel campaign That's with great. prayer and fasting and to come expecting, expecting God to move in a powerful way, expecting healings, expe expecting salvations Amen. and miracles. Um, and then from a logistic standpoint, when we are praying for people on the field, we ask them, is there something that you couldn't do before? Um, could you not bend or stand or walk? And we tell them, start to do what you couldn't do before. You know, and if and if there's still a little bit of pain there, we ask them to walk with us. We pr we pray as they're walking um, until they say, I don't feel anything anymore. Or I you know they they fall out under the power of God or or they say you know I feel a fire over my body. Um, and then when we are able to. Um, witness that they can do something that they couldn't do before, then we take them up to um, the stage um, and then they're able to go up and share the testimony. So we we um, see and make sure that they can actually do something that they couldn't do before before we take them up to, to the stage. Well, that is a, a beautiful way of presenting it because sometimes we see the testimonies but we don't know what's happening behind the scenes and everything that the Lord is doing and as we know a testimony is powerful Revelation yes. 12 11 says they overcame him by the blood of the lamb but by the word of their testimony what happened I didn't even si want to come no to the service tonight I said there's no tres, more solution for me three no years I, I was getting injections for the pain the doctor said you're just bad we can't do anything for you anymore today I felt a fire and there, the pain just stopped as you see this woman 
this woman was hopeless. This woman yeah. literally had given up any hope that one day she could be healed. But yet, as you're hearing the testimony, what goes through your mind, what goes through your spirit as a woman of God that is pursuing Jesus, but yet she's hopeless, and now Jesus has just touched this woman? I mean, it's incredible because you think about her situation, right? She was, she said she was getting daily shots in her body mm -hmm. um, because of the pain and the fact that the doctors told her, there's nothing else we can do for you. You're just, you know, you're, you're to a point where we can't do anything else for you. And as a, as a person, a female or male, when you receive news like that, it's just a, sp a state of desperation. Mm -hmm of hopelessness, of, you know, discouragement, of sadness. Um, but the power of God Amen. is so real and Amen. and just it's just so incredible to see because I put myself in her shoes. I've never gone through a situation like that, but I'm I put myself in her shoes in the sense that I can see how that situation could be such a desperate situation and how the power of God just touches her and instantly the pain that she was feeling every day just to get up. And she even said, I didn't even want to come. Mm. She <laughs> didn't even want to come. So true. And the Lord met her there. Wow. It's like just incredible. And that just reminds me of the love of God, the power of God, the mercy of God, that even when the situation just seems so lost, mm -hmm. so desperate, he shows up Amen. and completely heals this woman. That's amazing. And I love what you said. It's the love of the Father. When God heals somebody, it's His love. It's His goodness. Let's continue watching the remainder of this testimony, what God does to this woman. No more pain. Look at her walk. Look at this. Mira esto. Lift your legs. Levanta tus pies. Are you happy? Estás contenta? Very happy. The Lord has healed me. Somebody say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we see this amazing testimony, and you were talking about the love of God and God touching people. Right now, there could be people watching us right now that they're saying, but I've prayed and, and, and I've believed God for my miracle, but yet I still have my pain. I still have my situation. Mm. It reminds me of the woman with the issue of blood. She said, if I can only touch the hem of his garments, I will be made whole. What would you say to those people that are still believing for the miracle, but yet somehow doubt wants to creep inside of them? As human beings, doubt will try to creep in to our minds because we are going through it in the moment. We feel the pain. We feel the, the sickness in our body. We know that it's there, but that's when faith steps in. Amen. We have to just continue pressing through. And God knows the timing when. God it doesn't make mistakes. God doesn't show up late. He shows up on time. And even though it's, it may be years, like the woman with the issue of blood that was you know for 12 years, mm -hmm. we don't know God's timing. But the fact that she came to Jesus Amen. with that faith and said, if I could only touch the garment of Jesus, I know I will be healed. Yes. It's that faith that, that set her free. Amen. It's that faith that healed her. So what I would say is anyone going through a, a situation like that of sickness, just continue to believe in the Lord, continue to declare the word. When we pray over people on the gospel campaign field, we are, commanding the sickness Amen. to go. We're not Amen saying, please go, mm -hmm. maybe it'll go. No, we have to go believing and declaring that the sickness has to go. And that's another point of preparation that we do is we're seeking the face of the Lord before up, up until the gospel campaign hour. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are seeking the Lord's face and we are declaring that he will move in a mighty way Amen. and that there will be salvations and healings and miracles. So it's that faith that we just have to continue to press through continue to seek the Lord, continue to believe and stand firm on God's word. Amen. Amen. So powerful, so powerful. Your tenacity, your persistency. See, the word says in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, without faith, it's impossible to please God. As Janet was saying, don't lose your faith. Keep your eyes on Jesus and your miracle will come through. Until next time, this has been Behind the Sign.
We want to thank you for watching. If you want to know more about Shake the Nations Ministries and our YouTube channel, why don't you click the subscribe button? Also, if you want notifications of our brand new videos, why don't you click the bell? There's so much more in Shake the Nations Ministries that you can get involved in. Why don't you click also the link to our website to find out more? To find out more about our humanitarian arm, Hope of All Nations, make sure you click the Hope of All Nations button where you can learn about us taking the gospel to thousands of children around the world and our work in the ground of the nation of Honduras. We can't wait to see you next time.